That makes me feel good. That didn't give me back. I know you're trying to give me back, but everybody's waiting for me. Uh, boy, I don't have a whole lot to say. Hey, we're, we're ready for the MAC tournament. Um, this is what we've you know, built all season for up to this point. So uh, I thought we had a good week of practice last week. Uh, guys got a few days off, um, had a few good workouts, had some uh, open matches in the McLeod. Just kind of get out in that atmosphere, a little bit bigger atmosphere. Um, and then they had the kind of the weekend to themselves. So I don't know. I know, I know that we're ready to go. Uh, really, the work's, the work's really done. You know, it's just kind of about putting some fine edges on guys and, and really talking to them and getting them in the right frame of mind. Because, um, you know, I think that we've had some history with some of our guys, too, that maybe haven't had the greatest regular season. Uh, you know, you look at a guy like Laser last year, um, even, even Bonin when he placed fourth and Laser placing last year. Maybe the regular season wasn't uh, what you had hoped it would be or as, or as good as they probably could have been, but they were great in the postseason. And that's, uh, that's what we're getting our guys ready for. And get them in that frame of mind to go compete each and every time out, and uh, we got ten guys who are ready to go down to the MAC and, and try to win that thing. So I'm certainly not conceding anything to Missouri. You know they are the number one team in the country, but uh, I don't think we're just going to hand it over to them, and neither will any other teams in the MAC. So I guess with that, some of the some of the allocations came out. I don't know if anybody understands what the allocations are, but at, at each weight class, you get so many guys. If they place in the top three, they place in the top four. If they place in the top five, they get to automatically go to the national tournament. Um, and then if they don't do that, then they'll go into a, a wild card bid. So, you know, the best thing for our guys to do is go win the tournament. You win the tournament, you're going to the national tournament. Um, you know, I think at 25, there was two guys. Uh, 33, there's only one. So he's obviously going to have to wrestle real well to get in that tournament. I think uh, 41, there was three. 49, there was five. Uh, 30, 57, there was three. 65, there was four. 74, there was three. 84, there was only two. Um, 97, there's actually six spots. And then heavyweight, there was four. Um, so if I said four, then that guy's got to place in the top four to make sure he goes to the national tournament. Top six, he's got to place in the top six to go to the national tournament. Um, so, you know, though the MAC being, being a better conference, um, you know, we're getting more guys to get to go to the national tournament. And we're getting a, you know, so they don't have to actually have to win, win the weight class to go. So um, that's our plan, though, is to go win the weight class and, and uh, score as many points at the, as we can at the MAC. And then uh, we'll get all those guys in the national tournament, and then we'll we'll be ready to go down to St. Louis. So, uh, any other questions? I know that we had uh, we had our seventh recruit win his seventh win the seventh title. So we went seven for seven in the recruits that we signed in the in the in the fall. So uh, Peyton Moore got his first state title. Uh, it was I know that feeling a little bit. I, I didn't win one till a senior either, so uh, it feels pretty dang good. So it was it was good to see him and and get that get that title, and, and, and he felt good about it. Uh, really controlled things this weekend, um, wrestling really well. So, uh, other than that, if anybody's got any questions, let them go. How, how do you think the seeding turned out for your guys in the MAC tournament? Uh, we we had we had a last MAC rankings, and that's kind of it sets up the seeding a little bit. Uh, we have we have our our conference call tomorrow, um, and it's it's pretty cut and dry as far as how we did it. The first year, I think it was a three hour conference or three hour meeting, and last year was about an hour. So I liked the hour one a lot better. Um, but you know, you kind of you get it down where the, the whatever their whatever their record is in the MAC, that's kind of the first thing, and then and then you go from there. Do they qualify a spot? What's their what's their ranking? So so it's not where you know well this guy beat this guy, this guy beat this guy. You know, there's actually something that we can look to, um, and that's kind of been agreed upon before. So we have a pretty good idea where those rankings are going to end up, uh, and we'll get our guys ready for for that first round match. But you know, like we told them we told them last night, it's it's about what we do well anyway. You know, we can know what the guy does, but and we can have a game plan for it, but you still have to go where you're good and you gotta still go out and score points. You still gotta set a high pace and, and wrestle, wrestle through the edge and all those things. Um, so what that guy does um, doesn't really dictate what we do. You know, we, we're aware of it, but I think we're all familiar with each other and we can know what we do, but we just gotta be able to go out and do it so well that the guy can't stop us anyway. So I don't know, we'll, we'll have we'll have those seeds tomorrow really we'll know where guys are at. One weight class gets six guys, like at 97, yep. another one gets one. Is that because there's a lot of rated guys in that weight class? or? Why yeah, there's, there's a, there, a system they put in place a few years ago. Uh, you, have a, you have a coach's ranking. So if you're in the coach's ranking in the top 33, um, they have an RPI, which is your opponent's opponent's win percentage, and then, uh, then your winning percentage. So if you're two out of those three things, then, then, you, then you automatically get a spot. Um, and they try, to, they, try to, they try to fill in the first 29 guys at each weight. 
Uh, with the Big 12 not having a qualifier this year, um, the, there's, there's more open spots usually than normal. Um, so, they, so they went real strict. They went to 700 winning percentage. So that's why some of those weight classes have a few less. Um, but if they're in the coaches' rank during the RPA, their, their win percentage was over 700, then, uh, then they got those automatic spots. So that's why there's a difference in each weight class. So that's why the strength of your, your conference is big. You want to have a strong conference. So, so you qualify more spots, and you're, you're more ready for the national tournament. So. Columbia is not that far. So we'd love, to, we'd love to see some purple up in the, up in the stands. Um, and our, our guys will be ready for it. It's, uh, I think start, starts uh, Saturday morning. So Saturday, Sunday. Uh, is, is the MAC tournament. So down Columbia, Missouri, we'd love to see, see, see some people down there. So thanks for your support and go Panthers.